Hey, it's Grant from Grant Bakes, and I have a weird obsession with bread lambs. These little blades that we use to score sourdough bread. A few months ago, when I heard about the UFO lamb from Wire Monkey Shop, I knew I wanted to add one of these to my collection. So if you're curious about the UFO lamb and you're wanting to get one for yourself, watch this video first. This is the Grant Bakes owner's review of the UFO lamb. So first I'm gonna give you a rundown on the UFO LOM. I'm gonna go over how much it costs, how to actually change out the blade. Then I'm gonna rate the UFO LOM from one to 10 on the following four factors. Safety, on simple scoring, on intricate scoring, and on how fun it is to use. So let's start with the rundown. I just need that rundown by as soon as possible. Okay, just get it right. So what makes the UFO LOM unique is the size. Most other dough lams have some kind of handle that you're holding on to, either a handle made out of wood or some kind of steel handle. But most lams with a handle make, make the blade a few inches away from your hand. So when you're scoring, the blade is actually out here. With the smaller UFO lam, you have a lot more control on your scoring. Whatever your kind of design you're scoring, you have a lot more control because you're controlling it with your two fingers. So the small round design of the UFO LAM is really what makes it stand out. And as far as price, right now on the Wire Monkey Shop website, they have eight different UFO LAMs on sale from anywhere between $27.95 and $39.95 in US dollars. So that's a little bit on the pricier side for bread LAMs, but they are made in the USA, which cannot be said for a lot of the cheaper dough lams that you buy on Amazon. Of the eight different types of UFO lams that are on their website, uh, this is the kind that's made out of recycled paper, but I believe six out of the eight different types are made out of American walnut. So they're made out of US materials and made in the USA. Now I'm gonna show you how to change out the blade for a new one. So when you get your UFO lam, it does come with one blade inside, and this is how you change it out. Grasp it firmly with both hands and just sort of twist these two ends, kind of spin independently of each other. So you unscrew it like that, and eventually it comes loose, and you separate the two sides. Okay, change it out for a new blade. There's this little metal piece in the center here. Pull it tight until the blade catches. And you can screw back on the other plate. Now I'm gonna rate the UFO LOM from one to 10 on safety. The cool thing about the UFO LOM is you can actually close up the blade inside of the LOM itself. So when you're putting this away, the blade can just disappear. You don't have to worry about somebody reaching into the drawer and touching a razor blade. So let me just close it up really quickly and show you that. Unscrew it. There go. And boom. The razor blade completely disappears inside of the dough lam, and you can just put that inside of your drawer or even have it on your counter and you don't have to worry about anybody grabbing a razor blade with their hands. Overall, I give this a nine out of 10 for safety. Because there's so much manipulation you have to do of the LAM to open and close it, I feel like that does increase the chance of you cutting yourself on this razor blade. I did cut myself one time. That could just be on me, but I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10 for safety. Now I'm gonna score a simple design on a loaf of sourdough bread with the UFO LAM and rate it from one to 10 on simple scoring. and I'd give the UFO LAM a 10 out of 10 for simple scoring. It was really easy to use and the design turned out really well, so 10 out of 10. Now I'm gonna attempt to score a somewhat intricate design on top of a loaf of bread with the UFO LAM. These are really well known for scoring intricate designs, kind of fancier stuff, 
So I'm gonna attempt to do my best with this LOM and see how easy it is. Then I'll rate it from one to 10. Okay, let's see how this turns out. And there it is. Pretty cool. So I'm not really one for doing a lot of intricate designs like this, but just kind of having fun with it. But as far as the LAM is concerned, I give the UFO Do LAM a 10 out of 10 for intricate scoring. The last category I'm gonna rate this LAM on is how fun it is to use. And I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. There's not much this lamp can improve on, but one area that I think uh, could bother some people is just you have to do a lot to put the blade in and to change the blade out. There's a lot of spinning involved. It's really not that big of a deal, but compared to how easy some other alarms are, that is a factor. So I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. You can do so many fun things with it. You can do designs like this. You can do just your normal slashing and scoring. Nine out of 10 for fun to use. So that's a 38 out of 40 for the UFO LAM. Might need to score these a little bit harder. Being that there are so many dough LAMs out there on the market, should you get the UFO LAM or should you get something else? To answer that question for you, I made another video testing five of the most popular bread LAMs on the market. So you might like the UFO LAM, but you might like one of the other LAMs better. So go check that video out. When the video is up, I'm gonna put it right here. So go ahead and click that video and check it out.